Hello, Professor Bright here. Welcome back to Home Insight, where our investigation has taken a turn. It turns out Radica stabbed the Godless Priestess. With, presumably, Clawden? I mean, it was a giant sword. Presumably it was a dangerous weapon that might be responsible for this whole affair. Although, as I understood it, killing the Godless Priestess wasn't the problem. The problem was her soul not being reincarnated, so... Huh... I'm curious. I'm actually very curious to go show Radica her omen site and just... Well, yeah, like it says, when Radica sees the omen site, how is she going to justify her actions? Problem is, we also have Indrik here, and I have been desperate to get a chance to talk with Indrik. Also, there's a... Uh, well, the world tree appears to be dying, so we might want to pick up the pace. Well, I'm kind of hoping that's tied to just Act... Like, we're in Act 3. So I'm hoping that's why it's looking all dead instead of me wasting time. Uh, we'll find out. Hmm. I'm kind of torn between the two options, though. It's either Indrik or Radica. Honestly, I don't think the other two are that interesting for this purpose. Um, hmm, I mean, it's a bit of coin toss. Uh, let's say this one. Okay, Indrik it is. Yes. Because I'm curious. So it begins. Another chance to save Euralia. I mean, is it though? I got a feeling it's gonna end badly for everybody involved. But we'll see how this turns out. I'm actually kinda curious what happens if I don't ohm inside him. Hey Indrik, what's up? No, I'm just gonna sit here, actually. I'm kind of stupidly curious. Hmm. Okay, waited enough. Hey! Indrik! Got stuff to tell you. Okay, so it was her chest. Okay. Couldn't remember if she was stabbed in the back or the front. Doesn't really matter with a stab like that, though, but... You are the Harbinger. Yes. Your coming means that something terrible is about to happen. Loden, sure is. You know our history. How Yarbog, our god, our patron defeated Voden, and the blessed sword Cladden shall be bestowed upon the righteous disciple. And he and his descendants shall fan the flame and temper the blade, lest it crumble and invite the darkness to return. Oh. Anew. Vera and Ratica. They came here for Cladden. They seek to use the Void as a weapon to win the war. Oh shit, Thought that was a dumb idea. Blade. Ratica would rule the dead world. <coughs> and she claims I am a monster. We will I mean, you drove her to do that, so... And when mm. we do, I care not if the mouse talks or sings. She will give us Cladden. Um... Maybe. Kind of depends how things turn out. Although this also brings up the point of... Retentions. Hmm. I turn my back for a day, and chaos ensues. If you're going to use a weapon, use it for a purpose. Oh, whoops, that's not a thing. Oh, sorry. Let's attack together. That's actually a good tactic right there. I gotta remember how to... There we go. came from. Damn rats are everywhere. Does that surprise you, soldier? Battles such as these are how wars are lost. Step aside. I mean, I was right there, guy. You could not. Just... Indrik? Really? Like, you gotta be exploding me? I mean, that worked out pretty great. So never mind, I guess it's all good. Ooh, by the way, I'm just gonna unlock this seal real quick. I think it's uh, treasure, yeah. Problem is I don't really remember this dungeon that well, so, hmm. There we go. Sorry, what we're we doing? Oh, right. We'll switch, because God forbid you actually, you know, move a switch. 
Gotta be busy just flying there with your not quite firebird powers. Ooh, hey, what's up? Right, how's things going? Man, looks like things are going badly for these guys. Hmm. Oh, whoops. Sorry, I wasn't even paying attention there. What? I just did a thing I don't remember being able to do. Okay. That's fine. Oof. I am not doing great. Okay. I worked out pretty well. Let's unlock that, though. Because I'm curious about lore. Or it could be nothing. That works, too. Oh, sorry. You still fighting something? No? Cool. Let me just uh, get this real quick. Got me a powerful need for help. I remember I can do that. Plus, if I remember right, I have the health draining perk for that, so really need to start using that better. Oh, dearie me. Also that. Expecting something. And that. Yes. Oh, screw you. Holy whiskers. I kind of was hoping you would help, but, you know, that's fine. Just sit there doing nothing. That works, too. I should have known Ratika was involved with the priestess. Vera escapes to the city of Eka. And a few hours later, Ratika is captured in the same city. I should have made the connection. How do you not? Also, why do you think they want... Well, I mean, they wanted to weaponize the Void, obviously, because that's what Ratika more or less did. Again, more or less. The prison belongs to us now! Enough with these games! Oh, shit! To use a weapon, use it for a purpose. Okay. Anyway, I just want to kill this guy. Get him out of my way. Oh. Let's see, in my defense, I was all obscured there. Ooh. Okay. Can't let the rats kill me. life and you go over there have fun there oh i was hoping to kill both of them but that works too oh really don't presume to command me uh okay i'm in desperate need of some health okay i guess i'm not gonna get it just need to play more disciplined. More skilled. I did set it on hard, so you know. Someday, I will unmask whoever keeps writing on this wall. Half my soldiers have believed the prison to be haunted. Mm, I mean you say that. You see, Arbingers are simple minded. Hey! Go fuck yourself. Some of us need to eat. Okay? Hello, possible lore? Nope, never mind. Someday there's gonna be something Another there. Another barricade. The prison belongs to us now. Rah! <laughs> They never said anything about it, Indrik. Redentions. This is futile. Why do you keep fighting? Because they don't want to fight you, dude? That's not like. Where 
wasting time fighting this rabble. Ooh, damn. Oh, what? I was using that. <sighs> was using the energy drain when I didn't have it on. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Well, correction, I was trying to use the energy drain to. Do not yeah. presume to command me. Another barricade. Yeah, I get it. never said anything about entry. This is futile. Why do you keep fighting? Actually, question. Will that help me? No, it won't. Okay. What species? We're wasting time fighting this rabble. Yeah, what species is that, by the way? I think that was a fair question. I'm kind of upset that he got interrupted. Because I'm asking that same question. Ooh, okay, yeah. That needs to stop. A lot of time to dodge those. Okay. Sorry, I got focused there. Alright. Let's get back to the killing. Okay. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Keep cheering, keep cheering. Integrate, integrate. It's all good. Oh, hey, hey. Need the health. Uh, yeah, hold up there, Indrik. I got uh, stuff to look at. <gasps> Ooh, more. New memory of whose? Radica, the rescue. Hmm, curious. Out of breath, Radica finally reaches Yarbog's temple, just in time to witness the death of the last remaining temple guards. From the roof of the temple, they scream as they attempt to dodge the supernatural storm that has been ravaging the heavens. The lightning is too vast, and with a grotesque contortion, they fall to their deaths. Earthquakes tear roots from trees and cut chasms through the earth, one crevice extending so far that its fissure stops just short of Radica. Radica lunges into action. There has to be a survivor, she thinks. Fear drums in her mind as she follows the chasm, her direction driving her closer to the eye of the storm. Something catches her eye. Is that a body? Radica pauses, a dozen variables slipping through her mind. She notices a way down, a somewhat safe way to reach the victim. But how long before the next tremor collapses the fissure on her? Radica takes a chance, descending the steep slope at a run, and she drops beside the body. She notices a familiarity in that unconscious face. It's very injured or worse. Moving on impulse, Radica checks her vials. She's unconscious, but alive. In a blink, Radica evacuates, scaling up the incline, Vera in tow. When she reaches her family, another aftershock violently shakes the ground. Radica, her fra father, shouts. Are you crazy going into that storm? We've got to help her, Radica declares. Her still in her arms. She's the only one left alive. Damn it, daughter. Her father examines the unconscious owl. She's an owl? Okay. Look at this one. Pigarian. What am I to do with her? She doesn't belong in a Rodentian family. I know that, Dad. Her father crosses his arms. Well, I'm not taking her to Pigaria. Her to Pigaria, rather. Riley, Radica adds. I know that too, Dad. Intriguing. They have the last remaining temple guards. From the river of the temple, they scream as they attempt to dodge the supernatural storm has been ravaging the heavens. Curious. So she saved Vera. Presumably this is all occurring well before these current events. Huh. Save Vera. Apparently, I would assume uh, Vera got adopted into Ludomir's family. And yeah, hold up. Because there's something up here, too. Yeah, I don't think Dead. I didn't see this. Are you a kleptomaniac? Yes. Yes, I am. 
Thank you for noticing, though. And... Nope, not one of our mystery guys, but... Unwanted. Draga grips the staff, holding it steady. From the opposite end of the plateau, the Imperial trainer faces her and, uh, uh, bleh, and the other recruits. On an adjacent landing, Bagarian generals gesture at Draga, no doubt debating her fate. Draga had surprised all Bagaria when she passed every exam and was inducted into the army. Thus, her present training exercises was something no Bagarian wanted to miss. The spectators grin, placing bets, how long until Draga fails, gets kicked out, or in, and returns to factory life. That very notion spurs her on. The Imperial trainer singles out Draga. Step forward or drop out, there's still time, he prods. Heat rises in Draga, but she stuffs the annoyance away with an icy calm. I've got all the time in the world, sir. In true sparring form, the Imperial whirls his weapon up high before launching an assault, jerking it forward towards Draga. The other recruits back away. Draga glides out of the way and returns the strike with one of her own. The Imperial advances again, this time faking a reach outward, then coming in low. The move disorients Draga, but she recovers quickly. She resharpens her focus and steps through her next two thrusts with a block and spin. The frenzy with which Draga presses her attack causes the Imperial to call a timeout. A commotion of voices comment on the spectacle. General Elia motions Draga over. General, Draga performs a military salute. That was good technique. Who taught you? The general asks kindly. I, Draga blushes. Answer the question, worm, the trainer yells. Draga lowers her head. The dream ends here, she thinks. You can keep your secret for now. Draga, is it? Draga no nods, slowly confused. Send her to my cadet division. Can't talk today. Send her to my cadet division on the double. General Elia orders the trainer, then she starts to walk away. I'll find your secret, Draga, she adds without looking back. Hmm. Curious. Curious, curious, curious. Presumably it was... She must have been trained by Rodentians, right? Or, well, not necessarily Rodentians, but someone who is into some illegal activity. Which, admittedly, I was assuming was the Rodentians, because... I mean... Who wouldn't assume that? Given what we know of them. God bless their little rebellious hearts, but... Hmm... Not exactly the most trustworthy of people. Especially since their boss keeps betraying me, by the way. I had no love for the godless priestess. She broke a sacred tradition. Neutrality. Still, to be murdered in cold blood by a friend. The hmm. Rodentian will receive proper punishment once this crisis is resolved. Hmm. Why don't I actually believe that you're right, Indrik? Why is that? Also, how'd you break out? Indrik, are you here to surrender? Ratika, answer carefully. Where is the oh, sword? Oh, those guys broke her out. Only the sword? Not the hideout? Not the amber? Your Highness, really? Getting one out of three isn't great odds for any Pagarian tyrant. Stop playing games. I know everything. You coerced. Though you tricked Vera into leading you to the sword. Uh, and yeah, okay, sure. Her. That's not what happened at all. Your lack of thoroughness disappoints, Your Grace. So, you did not kill her? Well, that part's true, but... So you had the sword. But it was not on you when my soldiers caught you. You hid it somewhere. Where? Vera was my friend. I never wanted to hurt her. But when everything when happened, happened, I happened, I, I panicked. Then you panicked and stabbed her in the chest. More, and then even more. And while I was doing that, I realized that my feet had started running. Uh, I left Vera behind and the sword. Before I could think of anything else, I slammed into a soldier's breastplate, which made this really interesting zong noise. Satisfied? Mm, this almost rings true, but. You do not fool me or my companion. Actually, I kind of believe her. You know, your friend isn't saying anything. The harbinger does not need words. Harbinger, I would like to no have less. some words. Always the bully, Indrik. Can't fight me just by yourself. Hmm. Actually, yeah, omen side that. I get to solve both my problems. Cool. Yeah. By the way, there's you stabbing her in the chest. What's Bang that about? It. Now tell us, where is the blade? Where is Cladden? I... I don't have it. 
believe me or don't but we have a common enemy that uh -oh. sounded almost close to the truth what happened with vera if i told you why i killed her you would never believe me but i would to but tell she me. wasn't acting alone there was something wrong with her you could tell me though been gatherings in rodentia influential folks acting secretly behind my back Ooh. look as much as i detest your imperial policies there's something more dangerous waiting i know it what are you saying i'll lead you to them you can see for yourself in rodentia not to spoil the moment but that expression <laughs> it's like you're thinking using your brain it's like you're i love her i really do me. It would be uh, He's a delight. awkward for us to be seen together. Lead on. Lead on? <laughs> Does that mean I'm in charge? Because that means you technically be surrendering or Such a delight. Or Although seriously though, Attica. yeah, right. let's just not push this. Onward. Thanks. A calculated risk. If Ratica speaks the truth, then we are allies. Else, she will lead us to her accomplices in Rodentia. Um, and hmm, to the sword. I well, okay, sure. Let's go with that interpretation. Oh, hey. You're here too, Draga. Huh. Our temporary truce with Ratica does not change the plans for tonight's invasion. I'm counting on your discretion with this harbinger. Um... Ooh, I feel like there's going to be more choices that I want to make or might not want to make. So I don't know what caused that. So, what if I were to just take this out? I'm kind of curious. Oh, no, can't. Okay, well, that's fine then. Yeah, so let me just kill this little sorcerer guy real quick. Sorry. Someone who is better at this than you are. Think you can help with the void creatures, though? Thank you. Sire, there are sightings of the enemy leader. She is heading into the city alone. Shall we intercept? You shall not. Remain mm. at your post. I will deal with Ratica. Hegarians! Hmm. Your loyalty has made our nation strong. You carry that strength with you, for you are of Hegaria. You are Pigaria, and for Pigaria, march! I kind of like that speech, actually, that little sentence. That's kind of nice. Not gonna lie. I like the whole, you are the nation, you're the strength of the nation, march for the nation. I kind of like that little... Phrasing. Yeah. So, she's still gonna be our ally after this, cause I mean. Um, hmm. We're allies! I'm just invading I your will place. Purge this area of redemption. Oh, wow. Fuck. I got a feeling that this is like. Basically. Ooh, shoot. Okay, that needs to stop happening right now. Thank you. Goodbye. Stop, stop, stop. Goodbye. Anyway, yeah, I got a feeling that that was sort of a, I want to say, holdover from if I had killed Radica. Ew. Okay. Need to stop talking, keep fighting. Really? Really, guy? Oh, wait, you're not on my side. Never mind. Let's kill that little dog. Oh. Well. Well. Also, I have a projectile attack I keep not I using. I really do something about that. Redemption. What? Anyway. I'll kill him. You know it'd be great? If you actually fought these guys? Friend? You know, ally? Ally who literally should be doing anything to help? That'd be great. Come back, Harbinger. I... Oh, Alright, anyway... Their nonsense aside. Oop. Nope. 
Okay. Oh boy. If we could just have this be a little more stressful, that'd be great. But yes, as I was trying to say before the fight, that whole purge area of redemptions thing, got a feeling that line was not changed from uh, if I had killed Radica. I suspect that line would still have been there. I kind of wish they changed it when we allied with them, but yeah, I don't know. It's one of those things I'm going to complain about, but not really complain that much about. You know how that is. I, will proceed forward. We can win. I mean, you totally could, but also... Oof. Okay. Yeah, more focused on this now. Come on. Come on, come on. Harbinger. I will proceed forward with the fury. Make sure that... We can win! Attack! Oh! Oh, cool. It ends if that explodes, too. Great. Good to know. Can I just destroy that, though? I would much prefer the ability to destroy that. Do not let them activate the detonator. That's what I'm trying to do. Okay. Look, I get it, the whole forward engine thing. It's great and all, but also, if you guys could just, just die. You know what to do. Okay, that needs to stop. We can win. No. Nope. Okay. This is gonna be a bit rougher than I thought it was gonna be. Hmm. Still, I want to complete Avenger. this before calling quits. Yes, you will. We can win. No. Attack. No. Okay, that needs to stop right now. Do not let them activate the detonator. What do you think I'm trying to do? No, stop. No, bad. Stop. Stop it. Bad. Okay, that can't be a thing. Uh, shoot. Well, it was a choice of exploding myself or getting killed there. Because, to my knowledge, there's no way to cancel out of that grip attack. Oh, no, you can't. It's nothing personal. I just can't let you. Activate the detonator. Dude, again. What do you think I'm doing? Well, for one thing, I'm not dodging. Come on. <sighs> come on, come on. I will proceed forward with the fury. We can win. Nope. You son of a bitch! You got me killed! What? Okay. Yes. Okay. You know what? There. He's dead. The problem is solved. Because he's dead. Trying. You're not making it easy. Okay. Okay, we're gonna just skip. Well, eh. I will proceed forward in the fury. Will you though? We can win! Attack! You know, if 
I wasn't sitting in poison, I could probably do something about that, but seeing as I am now, thanks to you, jackass. Okay. That problem hasn't been solved, more or less. Cry. Because that's what I'm doing right now. Okay, yeah, skipping ahead. Avenger, I will proceed forward with the Fury. Make sure they're. We can win! Attack! Avenger, do not let them activate the detonator! Thank God you're actually helping. Okay. Okay. Harbinger, join me on the Fury. <laughs> okay. You have wasted enough time. Okay. Let us proceed. So, fun story about this section. So, besides the fact that when he talks to you, the enemies can still move. And besides, how difficult that all was, mostly because I have it on hard mode, let's be honest, so I can kind of excuse that. Turns out there's a bug where if you interrupt one of them while they're on the plunger, it still triggers, essentially. Uh, so you freeze at that area instead of him inviting you onto Yontrex Fury. So I am mildly upset right now, and I feel justified in that anger. Because one of the, like, I feel like this is basic game design, but if you're going to freeze the player in a cutscene, freeze the enemies as well. Just, just, just a thought. Anyway, looks like things are working now. And you know what? That was a frustrating amount of time. This is how a real war is won. But it's so fine. Not entirely true, actually. There was a whole idea of Blitzkrieg, which is just a quick, you know, uh, lightning war is what it translates to. Um, so your slow war, uh, not exactly the best way to win a war. Anyway, sorry, sorry. Calming, calming down. I'm, I'm fine. I'm fine. Sorry, that was just extremely frustrating. In a game that's otherwise been pretty great, honestly. If I ever have to do that sequence again, there will be blood. Or, more likely, I will just turn the difficulty down, because I cannot be I can't. I can't. I just, I can't. Cannot afford to waste time with this. I don't have it in me <laughs> to do that section again. The worst part is I do have a projectile attack, but it's tied to, like, this combo system, which I just... Ugh. Ugh, I say. Just, uh, that's it. That's all I have to say on the matter. Yep, propel me forward. You die for my cause, etc., etc., etc. Cool, you gonna let me in there? Great. Sure is. Yeah, I'm not gonna let you do that, though. Or I'm gonna just die, that works too. I'm a little bit off my game for reasons. Okay. Oh god! It's the Emperor! This is our chance! We kill him, we'll be heroes! For Redentia! Take down that bridge! No! I think not, Redemption. And that's you dead. No way! It fights like a harbinger. Yeah, weird that. We probably should worry about that, but oh well. Uh, 
Okay, I need to stop. I need to stop fucking around is what I need to do. <sighs> okay, okay. Back in this, come on, come on. It's all good. Sure is. We kill him, we'll be heroes for Odentia. Take down that bridge now. I think not for Odentia. Impossible. Quite possible, actually. But you know, hey, what do I know? No nope. point. Balls. There we go. Or you could attack the Emperor. I just thought, you know, attack him instead of me. Good. We are done here. Ratchika must be within the city walls by now. Moment of truth, I suppose. Hmm. Well. Let's go make this magic happen. Happen. Brain, not good right now. Okay, fine. Just take the most circuitous route possible. Ah, <sighs> good. Some more health. More amber, as I recall. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see here. Is there anything else I can recover my health with? Thank you. Oh, hey, more of that corruption stuff I should probably be worried about. Especially since that's the stuff I see on the tree. Hmm. Well. Step aside. Ah, oh, dearie me. I will say this, I might need to turn the difficulty down finally. Ratica, dead. Shit. Yet I see no other Pigarians around. Ratica you don't? died a hero. Killed by the usurper, torturer, and now murderer, Emperor Indrik. But it is her sacrifice Did she now? that delivered Indrik into Rodentian hands. Hmm. A fascinating tale. But false in every account. <laughs> and now, Pigaria falls as Rodentia falls. Oh. I see. Yeah, you know what, I'm... <sighs> hate to do it, but I think I am just gonna turn the difficulty down after this. It's finally become a reasonably challenging game. In the third act. Who would've said? Who would've thought it? Third act would be a bit... Yeah, just a bit more challenging. I mean, some of this isn't too bad, but oof. then I just mistimed things and, well, well. Attempt number two. I think a lot of my problem is that I have trouble predicting where exactly I'm gonna bounce to. Right? Okay, first of all, that needs to stop. Also, situational awareness is a thing. Yep, turn down difficulty. At this point, I think it's justified. The game has finally become Difficult. All right. Balanced. I will take that. Okay. Honestly, I don't know why. It's just like this third act feels like it's so much harder than the rest of the game has been. I don't know. What? In the grand scheme of things, I suppose it doesn't matter. Yep. Just turn down that difficulty. Just that little bit. 
Oh, shit. Right now I have to deal with that. Oh, dear. Okay, more of this. Can I please actually dodge? Thank you. Now that they're unchained, we can just let some of these void creatures do some of my work. There we are. Hey, buddy. Sup? What did you mean by as Rodentia falls? If you had been chosen, you would already know. He who we serve cares not for nations. He comes. Voden. Servants of Voden, of course. Apparently was a stylish fighter though, so that's neat. Okay, so this was a longer episode than I expected for many reasons. Uh, and I'm kind of disappointed that I had to lower the difficulty, but you know what? Honestly, the appeal here is the story, not the gameplay for me. Gameplay is pretty great, actually. Although that was that one incredibly frustrating section. But also, that was kind of interesting then. So now I am curious. I think we have to go with Radica's story next. Also kind of curious what offerings there are here. Health. Give me that health. Also, Phantom Grasp. I need that thing so desperately. Uh, I don't really care about that one so much. Oh. I should have kept that, but oh well. Uh, someday I'll have that sword. But that is not today. Today we uh, level up. Gain new power of some kind. This so kills multiple. I could have used you. I needed you. Where were you when I needed you the most? I ask. Oh well. Okay. Well. I'm going to call this a day. We've got some experience with Indrik. There are some options there that we might possibly explore. But, ooh. Hmm. Omens I can compel the Hagarian general to act beyond the needs of the battlefield and dig deeper into the mystery. Okay. What about this, though? Hmm. 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 These two seem like the interesting ones. Oh, we'll see. For now, thank you for your time. You know the like, comment, and subscribe buttons below. Use them responsibly. And I shall see you all soon. Attempt to see you all soon.